Hi guys, we're the ESCB team, and today we're going to react about the Albanian selection, Festival Ikenges 60. This year, as always, Albania will choose an artist and a song via the traditional festival. 20 artists will compete on the ride to represent Albania in Eurovision 2022. And in this video, we're going to reveal our top five. So let's get started. Let's get started. So the festival this year will have three shows starting on 27th of December and ending on the 29th of December. This is the night when we will we'll find out the artist and the song for Albania. Third, uh, uh, third uh, Eurovision entry. Yeah, that's right after Bulgaria and the Czech Republic. Yeah. So without any further ado, let's start reveal our top five. Karins, I really want to hear who is your fifth place and why. My, my fifth place is Nerud. Um, very beautiful introduction to the song and has some string elements and then some guitar sounds. And I, I like, I like, I like this one. I think this is a mirrored one of the best efforts in big uh, festival in Kangas. Yeah, it's a great song. And then King Jesus is back with some classic ballad. Hey, actually, I agree with you. Uh, it's a really good song. Um, to be honest, I think it's the best mirrored songs that, that we have heard in festival in Kangas. Uh, and yeah, I think that. It should be uh, a little bit great of him to do like ballad and not another ethnic upbeat song. Mm. But to be honest, I, re I really liked it. I like it as well. Um, so my fifth place is Georg and Cherry with Nender Melody. Wow, I love the chill of the song, you know, it's a rock pop song with mm -hmm. blues elements. Uh, it starts with a short instrumental section that composed of drops playing. And as the song progress, we reveal more and more layers in it. Uh, the atmosphere is a little bit dark, like sitting in pub, to be honest, for me. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Georg um, participated in last year as well. And last year he was like, give us more tough side of him, but this year is more soft. And actually, I like it because he like um, saving something for himself, but still it's very exposure as an artist. And I love the way that it ends with a cappella singing because I love Georg's uh, voice in general. Um, for me, the style is something like the early 2000s rock music, uh, which I like, by the way, so it's a good thing to say. Um, in some parts, I find it a little bit basic, but I think it's actually the magic of the song. Uh -huh. It's effortless, uh, and yet it's faithful to the artist himself, to the performer. I think that with the right staging, it can be really, really like a dark horse of the night. Uh, but we'll see about it. But anyway, I really like the song, and well done. Yeah. So now moving on with our fourth place. Yeah, Carmen, who is your fourth place and what? My fourth place is Kessie Rucha. <laughs> With the very modern well, rock pop vibes, which is very unexpected uh, from her, from uh, being an Albanian selection. I didn't expect that. I really like this. Uh, I love the vocals. Um, yeah, I think it's a great, uh, great track. We will win, definitely no, but it's my one of my favorites. Yeah, I agree. It's a good song as well. Uh, however, it's not my fourth place. My fourth place is, and actually I think it's going to be one of the surprises of the festival, is Esther's are here with Hyena. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the song, and to be honest, when I started only the reviews back then in the website, it wasn't my top five. 
but as day passed by, I start to like it uh, more and more. And who knows if we if we would have recorded this uh, video, I don't know, a week from now, probably it will be even in my top three, who knows? Uh, but I really like it, and why? Uh, so it's a modern pop ballad with non constant structure. I mean, I love the, the interest it creates among the viewers, among the listeners. Uh, Hester is very young and she has a soft voice, but th that's maybe the main reason I liked it because it's very like, you know, innocent and pure. Uh, you can tell how young she is by only listening to her, uh, but she's very talented. I love the production as well because it elevates her song, her voice. And also there are, let's call it, uh, some non startup motives in the production, which I really appreciate. She showed her vocal abilities, which is a good thing as well. And, and I think, to be honest, that the song is all about development. I mean, how she reveals the story. She takes the story of uh, someone she dated or she used to get to date to. And she said there are like two hands, Iyana, the four two titles. And it has complicated structure, but that's why I love it because it's not really basic. Uh, and yeah, I think this girl like really gonna slay it on the night. And you know what reminds me like other acts that of female of young female artists that has done well in, in festival festival in Kangas, like every Richie last year. Yeah. And we had uh, that girl that um, sang uh, the song Ayer, yeah. Wendy, I guess. Um, so yeah, I think it has like the same vibe. I don't see it winning the festival, of course, mm -hmm. and unfortunately in some way. But yeah, I think it. Well, first of all, we really don't know if we're gonna reveal, we know all the results, only the winner, because yeah. in festival, again, guess it changed, depends on who is the art director or producer of the festival. Yeah. Uh, but I think that if we will have the full results, I guess that Esther will have the potential to sneak into the top, top five. Yeah. Excellent. So now moving to our top three, Karens, let's kick off with your third place. My third place, I think it's your actual fifth place is uh, Kate Cantonati. Oh, oh yeah, um, love the, love the rocky vibes, uh, uh, slow rocky vibes, I love the rocky voice of his, he's just one of the uh, underrated actors this year, which is very positive for me, uh, the back vocalist uh, background sounds very lovely as well. And kind of reminds me of 2005 pop rock vibes of uh, songs that I grew up with. And yeah, I like this one. And it's a, he's an amazing artist. Yeah, he is. And actually, we have seen him uh, last year. Mm -hmm. It was a good surprise as well. Last year was his first participation. Now is the second time in a row, and we're lucky enough. To Each year, he's getting better and better. Yeah, yeah. I'm already curious to see what staging he will suggest us this year. Uh -huh. So, great choice if you ask him. Um, so, I guess now moving on to my third place. Um, and actually, it's one of the favorites of the festival, I guess. Uh, it's Alban Raspusai with Feye. <laughs> So yeah, what we have to say, it's actually an acoustic ballad and uh, really like exposure in some way, like very basic acoustic, but I think it's brave to take it like that. So the song starts with acoustic guitar, as I said, uh, we can hear Alban deep voice and it definitely this guy has deep voice when he wants to show it. Um, we have gentle female backing vocalist that accompany singing. By the way, the backing vocalist is no other rather than Jessica Polo who competed last year and was my, my favorite, to be honest. So yeah, she, and also her brother, Marco Polo. She is great. She is great. Yeah, she is. And her brother is the composer and producer of the song. Yeah, sorry, the producer or the composer's album. And so yeah, whole Polo family is involved as well. And, and, but they like them, they're really talented. And I think the transition between the first verse and the chorus is quite smooth. And maybe it's too smooth because when I first heard it, I couldn't like really point out was it the verse or the chorus because they're quite um, similar or even identical in some way. Um, yeah, there is an outcry of Alban in the song, maybe too dramatic for some listeners and maybe for you, Karen, I don't know, we'll find out. Um, 
I love the part because when he singing that because it's very catchy with all the T, D, L, uh, something that's very like easy to recall if you, even if you're not Albanian speaker. Um, I love the instrumental part when we have the ethnic vibes and I wish we had more of them to be honest. Um, so yeah, I just will sum it up that it's catchy. It's one of the strongest songs in the lineup, I guess. Um, and maybe it will be, I don't know, Albania choice, who knows? But having said that, I must confess, or I must say that I'm a little bit disappointed because I have watched some snippets of the rehearsals and I don't know, something didn't work there. It's I don't, I, was... I don't want to comment, so people are going to hate me for this. <laughs> But really, I was a little bit disappointed with the rehearsals. I just hope that it won't be like that in the live performance, because otherwise the song like can be totally killed, to be honest. Um, but let's be no judgmental and hope it was like, I don't know, he was sick or something like that. Um, so yeah, the song has potential, but it must be accurate, like, I don't know, knife in the night, otherwise it will be- Who, kn who knows? He might surprise us at the final night. So yeah. Um so I guess you are not one of the fans of the songs, right? No. Wanna tell us why? Uh, shortly. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it doesn't speak to me as as the others. I, I prefer others. But yeah, uh Alman's a great singer, but well not not great singer, but I don't like his song, I don't like his voice. Um his looks are great. I as a yeah, um, good uh, good looking uh, singer doesn't mean great voice, and that's uh, people offend and get offended by that. But you know, opinions matter, and accept that. So now moving to our top two, Karen, who is your second place, or let's go to runner up and why? My runner up is actually a band, Urban Band. <laughs> We, I'm not surprised for a reason. Okay. Um, Albania needs a band for the change because we have a lot of females in the uh, in past few years, and they're all great. And we need some uh, Albanian rock band. And uh, love the guitars. I love the drums. I love the vocals. I catch the melody. I love everything about it. Um, I don't think it's gonna do well with Albanian uh, juries and people watching it, but it, I will support them, definitely. Yeah, it is a good song. Uh, it's not my runner-up, to be honest. We'll find that in mine in a few seconds. Uh, but yeah, it's, it has some uniqueness, I agree. Uh, and again, it continues the rock vibe we had last year. With the winners and I guess with all national finals this year. Yeah, <laughs> and, at least one band. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And actually, yeah, Albania has rock uh, basis as well to just suggest. They have a lot of good vocalists, so they can mm -hmm. do rock. So yeah, maybe it's good direction as well. Uh, okay, so my second place, and I must say that one of my dubs this year recording this video with you was between the second place and third place. Because for me, they're almost equal. And I will judge between them, I guess, in the last of themselves, but I have to decide now. So my second place was between Alban and the next one. Alban now is third. But my second place is Ronella Hayati with Secret. <laughs> She's a potential winner of this festival. Uh, yeah, she's not my second place, uh, but uh, I think she's great. Uh, she's a potential winner. She's amazing. She's a great vocalist. Yeah, great song as well. So what I like in this entry, actually. Um, so first of all, it has really complicated structure. When I first heard it, I think like it's like three or four or five hundred songs combined together and 
but you know I appreciate it because it's very brave some, it's something brave to do um from the last time we had something like that was I don't know in uh, North Macedonia in 2018 which also had different structures combined together so it starts as an acoustic uh, uh, choir singing actually I think it will be a, ba a ballad or pop ballad um soul song only relying on of course starting but uh, however it's not um so she starts on horn, therefore, thereafter, so we can hear more vocals uh, added. And uh, the melody afterwards is taken to a completely different direction, more ethnical, pop, a bit. We even can hear her do some rap actually in some way. Uh, there is the Bubul Tarang playing, which is very unique. Some Indian uh, foundations in Albanian songs, why not? Uh, and yeah, there's like transformation we, we, we've been through the song. Um, I think it's one of these adventures as well, the complexity, because some listeners may, may find it too much or too hard to swallow, let's call it. Um, so yeah, she's definitely a good vocalist. I watched her live performance as well, and rehearsals of Secret, which was amazing, to be honest. Even if you don't like the song, she, like she nails it vocally. You can't ignore that. Uh, she's the type that Albania loves to stand, relying on vocals. But I must say that watching Festival Ikengas for years, um, making me say that although she has a chance to win, she has a chance not to win as well. Yeah. Because we can rely on the, you know, last year's, the previous ones, like Sony Malai in 2019, Elvana Gata in 2020. Every, et et every ethnic uh, pop failed. Yeah, and Era Russia as well last year. Yeah. So all fan favorites, maybe would have do well in the original, who knows? But I think like, you know, the the jury of Festival of Genghis to usually- it will, be, it will be funny if we all expect her to pop, but actually to win this year. So it will be actually funny and great talking at the same time. Yeah, you know, it will be a change for Albanian as well, because I mean, there are two possible changes. Alban, because Alban is a male singer, which they don't tend to send rather than Yajin Pushpapa in 2018 and more cases. Uh, but Ronella, although she is like this one of the strong vocalists and she's female, it's still ethnic and upbeat thing that we don't usually get from Obelia. So it can be a change as well. Uh, but again, as I said, the jury is the one who worried me here. Uh -huh. But who knows? Maybe we'll have a surprise. Anyway, yeah. great entry. Um, it, you should like uh, listen to it a few times in order to really like it. And maybe it's one of the problems. Uh, but it, yet it's very catchy and it delivers a message. I like it. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Karis, please tell me which song or who is your artist is your winner and why. My winner of Festival with Kanga 60 is. It's actually Kelly. <laughs> Nobody expected that. I actually love the song. Love the vocals, like always. Uh, I love the smooth traditions between uh, solo parts and rocky chorus and solo parts. I really love that. Uh, and it's very nostalgic uh, uh, back in 2005, 2006 pop rock vibes. Um, and yeah, Kelly is underrated. Do you think he will do well or? In my eyes, I hope uh, he kind of reminds me of um, using Bush Vespa in similar vibes. I think he can pull it off, but at the same time, do we uh, will he win? I don't know, but I love all up to. I hope I hope he will do well. Uh, surprisingly, but who knows? Mm -hmm. So, okay, now it will be a little bit strange for me as well because I have already like announced Alban and Ronella, which I think are <laughs> the winners of at least 99% uh, of the fandom, uh, which is okay, of course, because they're in my top five. But I have a surprising winner as well. Uh, I suspect I'm the only one who consider this act as winner, but to be honest, I really don't care because I always have my opinion and it's, that's the way it should be. So my winner is Janex with the Lose You Now. So 
So what we're gonna say? I'm in love. Seriously, I mean, this is what they call a very female rock song. I I very unique song, very unique. Yeah, I agree. So it's indie rock song. We can say the style reminds me of rock songs from the '90s, but still there is something contemporary and modern in production. And to be honest, I think that in that lineup, the festival can guess this year. It can be like in the top two or top three of the modern acts because we have a lot of dated songs this year, rather uh, more than usual, to be honest. Um, she has a recipe voice with unique stamp. I mean, when you hear her, when you hear her, sorry, you definitely can know that this is Gen X and no one else. Uh, between the pre chorus and chorus, we can hear some sound effects, very like digital production, which is a good way, not only like acoustic guitars, as half of the songs is here. And I love the fact she allows a wide range of her voice. She has the low notes as well as, as, well as high notes. There's something very sexy, flirty, I might say even sexy in the, the way she brings the text. Uh, it shows different phase of, let's call it hardness and softness in one uh, single song. It's one of the unique songs of the festival, I agree with you. Uh, convincing, modern, catchy. Uh, and uh, to be honest, I can't wait to see, watch, the live performance because I feel she like preparing something for us. I already can reveal that the next will prepare a, an English version as well. Mm -hmm. And of course it won't be used in Festival of Kangas, which allows only Albanian singing in the Albanian language, I mean. But maybe if she will be chosen or something, who knows? On your version, if she wins. So, yeah. If yeah, she yeah. I, I think that if she has made a version like that, it might be the one to be used in Eurovision if it would be relevant. But mm. Okay, so let's sum it up. Um, I think Festival de Cangas is decent this year, but um, to be honest, it's weaker than last year's. Yeah. Um, I think that any edition we had in the five last years is, don't want to say stronger, but stronger or equal to that one. At least the last year. Last year was amazing, and this year I don't feel it. Um. We also have to mention that there will be three nights and we'll have some elimination of acts, I guess. I'm not sure, but that's what we like should be like mm -hmm. after the second night. But we still know, don't know the format and details because that's the way Festival of the Kingdoms managed to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Karnes, what is your like general idea and opinion about Festival? Uh, I think, first, uh, first of all, uh, uh, this year is very weak. In my opinion, for previous years, uh, but there's like some good songs and great singers, very talented people. Um, but yeah, I I think last year was much stronger edition than this year. But yeah, it's Albania. What do you expect? <laughs> so I think it's prediction time. Um, well. I mean, it will be like a little bit fun to say, but I see only two potential winners. Mm -hmm. Again, not a matter of taste, but what I think would would happen. I think it will be between two different songs, Ronella Hayati and Alban Rasmusai. And I tend to believe the jury will prefer Alban, but who knows? I also think that um, Alban, and sorry, not Alban, I also think that Esther Zahiri and Nirud will do well. Again, if we will have the results, who knows? The third place, fifth place, etc. I think the both of them will, like, at least will do top six, top five, but who knows? Uh, Karnes, what's your prediction, your honorable mentions? I I personally think uh, none of the fan favorites going to win. Uh, some unexpected ballad will win, for sure. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't expect the, um, what is what her name was? Angela Peristeri. Yeah, who represented Albania last year. She, in my eyes, she won unexpected. So I expect the same thing this year. Who knows? Who knows? So this was our review or top five of Festival of Kangas 60. We wish you good luck to all the artists, to all the songs. We appreciate their effort, of course. And we're eager to know who will represent Albania. We were the ECB team. Guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe. You can uh, follow us in all digital platforms and on our website, ESCB.com. 
We're also active in Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, Instagram, Facebook, and more. Thank you for watching and good luck to Albania. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.